hi there welcome back to another video if you are new to my channel hi there my name is Rishti and welcome to mystery of art now on this channel it's not necessarily all about art we do YouTube shorts uh, mostly TikTok videos that I would post here doing dumb very dumb stuff now I will have to mind my language because I while I do want it to be a family friendly content um most of my stuff isn't there will be some cursing or might be a lot of cursing and for those of you who don't know i'm from guyana a um it's a caribbean country i don't it's not even touching the caribbean sea but it's a caribbean country so i'm from the caribbean most specifically guyana and sometimes you might hear the guyanese accent coming out so i do apologize in advance for that now back to the channel now on this channel we draw we do crafts we do a bunch of stuff and I'm still learning how to draw how to paint I do think I have improved a little bit I'm not quite sure about that as yet so I mean you could go look at my old videos you can find me on TikTok Instagram I don't really use Twitter I do have a Facebook account that I sometimes go under maybe I should go under some more but I focus more on YouTube but I, I haven't been focusing on YouTube or TikTok or, or Instagram I've been lost I fall off the face of, I sometimes fall off the face of the earth so sorry about that now today we're going to be using these alcohol markers I got not that long ago but quite some time ago and I don't really use them because I'm afraid of finishing them and I I find this is something that I would do right now I have these canvas paper inside the room I will show on a video and I bought them beginning of this year but i haven't used them because it's just so pretty and so expensive and i don't know i'm afraid if i finish using it if i'm going to buy again if i'm just going to ruin the paper because i have a, a history of ruining art supplies and so just wasting them so i don't want to do that with these plus it's kind of hard to get good quality art supplies in guyana especially for a reasonable price i mean art supplies are already pretty expensive but then when you're living in this country that's behind god's back you're not going to find art supplies like at all something that i want are those uh those white jelly roll pens but i i just can't find them here so even if even if i get it i'm gonna be afraid of using it out because i know i won't be able to find it that easy here now back to the markers one of the issues that i've had with the markers that i'm trying to work on now is how to blend the markers now you're going to see this thing that i did with the fishes where i used a lighter color first and just colored in the entire fish i find when i use the lighter color first because i did try to um put piece of the light color piece of the dark color and try blend it in but it doesn't really go as planned so when i put the entire thing in the lighter color first and then put on the darker color it sort of like bleeds into the lighter color i guess because the page it has the um alcohol in it then uh hard to explain now when i layer it with the dark marker i go back in with the lighter marker and just try to blend in the edges give it that bit of a smoother transition from the dark color to the light color now i've only used two colors but you could use multiple colors and um i will be doing another one today where you're going to see me use multiple colors to blend in onto a leaf and i find that blending colors similar or like closer to each other it's easier to blend them than to go from yellow to purple it's like if we go from yellow to orange it would be easier to blend it out than if we just jump from yellow to purple or yellow to blue which will just give you that green red gradient that you don't really want <laughs> um am i the only person who hates the color green like the color green i i like it i like it in certain aspect but then there's just other aspect where i just absolutely despise the color green and i have no idea why anyway we've just covered blending now another thing if your paper is very thin because you're not going to get good paper over here i mentioned the canvas paper but that canvas paper was a little closer to i believe three thousand three thousand or four thousand dollars and it's only 12 sheets of paper inside but it was it was closer to four thousand dollars i'm pretty sure so 
the fact that the quality papers are really really expensive you're going to probably be using normal printer paper and most of the sketchbooks you're going to find are regular printer paper but damn are they expensive as hell i bought one at giftland that was about twelve hundred dollars and wow it's it's i can only use dry media on it so it was not worth it and i'm guessing that um the more the quality of the book the more you i've only found dry media stuff here i've never really found much to use with alcohol markers or i've never found watercolor paper like at all never so you know if you're like me and your paper is just the normal printing paper what you're going to need to do is to separate especially if you've managed to make your paper into a sketchbook then try to put something under that paper because it's going to bleed through a lot it will bleed through to three or four of those papers so you're going to need something thick to separate the two now this is just a topic that i'm going to try to cover really quick because we're six minutes into the video and that would be using references now when it comes to using references i know people have mixed opinion on this but my opinion is you should be able to use references now how you go about using these references is another thing let's say you're using a model you're drawing a model that you've seen on instagram or you just used on browser if you can give credit to that model by mentioning her name her social media account it would be wonderful if you can't find the name of the model but you can find the name of the photographer then just go ahead and mention it so that it shows you're giving credit to said person if you're going to be using another artist's work, now while you're still developing your art style, what you can do is look at other artists' work and you can see what you like, what you don't like, see which style, which style you think suits you better, but give credit to that artist, especially if you're going to study their work. And studying their work, you can do that in a variety of ways. You can, one, you can just try redrawing what they've drawn. And I've done this before with an artist. Her name is Naomi Lard. These cute little horoscope animals that she would draw and the seasonal animals. I think they were foxes. I have them in my hallway. I did did a redrawing of them but what I didn't do was post it on social media claiming it was my own I didn't even post it on any social media platform that is because it is not my artwork however if you feel you've done a fantastic job at it and you would like to let everyone else see what you did then you can go ahead and post it but please give credit to the original artist that person did take a lot of time uh, to draw this piece especially if they came up with it all on their own they've put in a lot of time and effort into this so give credit to said original artist now the other part is if you're going to copy piece of this piece of that piece of elsewhere um yeah, you can give credit to the original artists, you can sh give a shout out, say, hey, I got the idea from this person, or I like how this person does this, for example. I like the way how Drawing with Waffles, and I'm going to use the names which you can find them on social media with, uh, Drawing with Waffles has a YouTube channel, so you should definitely go check that out. I like the way how she'd draw characters or how she'd come up with her ideas. So I would often go and check out what she's doing to see if I can get some ideas too. I believe when I did the all pink drawing i actually got the idea from the dress from her if you check on my channel you will see i have to do a recreating of that i definitely want to do a recreation of that so um you should give credit to said artists especially if you're going to post the stuff on social media but it is not just with um it's not just with photos what you can do is use videos oh and apart from um you should get your stuff from pinterest or anywhere else pinterest has a lot of stuff a lot of great stuff that you cannot find so i just mentioned videos you should use videos when you are looking for references and the reasoning behind this is take in mind i'm not going to do a great job at explaining this there was another artist i think the name on youtube is ethan becker who does an amazing job explaining why you should use videos as your references 
but I'm just going to give you a quick snippet of um, what I, why I think you should use videos. If you're going to be drawing a fighting scene or you're just drawing, let's say, a ballerina and she's dancing, the video will help you see how her body moves, how the muscle moves, you can see how her hair reacts with the rest of her body moving and the clothes, how it forms around the body, how it drapes and falls. So you get a good visualization of what's actually going on. If it's an animal, you see how they move, how the fur moves on the body. Not to mention you can get a variety of facial expressions and different poses. You can get a variety of poses. You can get some awkward facial expressions too. But videos are an amazing way to get your references. Now that we're about 11 minutes in to said video, about 11 minutes, anyway, let's just close it off with a Christmas talk because I believe we are, today is Wednesday the 22nd of December, I want to get this video out before the night is out, so hopefully I'll get to finish out everything before the night is out and I will be starting another video. My last video for the year, I will be, well my last long video for the year, even though I haven't made a lot of these long videos, I have been doing more of the YouTube shorts because I find that the YouTube shorts got, it gets a lot of views compared to these videos. Sorry about that. Now about this year, I feel like this year has run out so fast, like I blinked and it's Christmas already. And that's scary, that's really, really scary to me because I, I felt, I feel like I haven't done much with this year. And even though it wasn't that bad of a year, there were still some horrible times that I wish I could like go back and fix but you know time doesn't wait on anyone it runs away from us all so I feel like this year the time just pretty much got up and sprinted away from me all the way away and it's going to be 2022 next year and it's not just the year finishing so fast it's actually getting older so fast too and me thinking that I haven't actually done anything with my life or anything at least anything that's that I should be proud of or whatever but I mean it's not all that bad sorry for just going off on you guys some of the good parts of this year is we got to 305 subscribers on the YouTube channel We've got a thousand more followers on TikTok, Taking Mag, I'm only, I'm, yeah, uh, about a thousand more followers on, oh, not on TikTok, a thousand more followers on Instagram. Sorry, TikTok isn't doing so well, sad to say. Anyway, thank you guys for being here, for watching the video. I know I've just started talking, I am I happiness and stuff has gone, and it's not because I'm not happy anymore right now, it's... The rain started falling and if you're from Guyana, you know, most people hang their clothes outside to dry and I've got clothes on the line, so I'm not running out to pick that up. That That's gonna stay out there and wet. I'm not going out there in the rain to pick that up at all. It's been pretty rainy over here. It's been raining every single day over here, especially where I am from and it's the place is just wet and damp and... <laughs> It's a wet damp Christmas. I think the painting that I'm going to be doing tonight, I'll try to incorporate that wet damp scene into it to show a guy in his Christmas. We did decorate the house. Um, what are you guys doing for Christmas? We don't know what we're doing as yet in this house. We're probably just going to watch some movies and um, that's it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoy your Christmas. Can't wait to see you guys next year. Sorry, I'll be out for the rest of the year. I will be making shorts still. You will probably still find me on Instagram and TikTok. Not so much on Facebook, but you'll find me on those two platforms. Goodbye.